There are too many people in this world who believe uh, an old vaudeville joke. When Jonas Bronk, the first European settler, came, people who wanted to visit him went up and said, well, we're going to visit the Bronx. That is, the family. That's an old vaudeville joke. Isn't it a real thigh slapper? My name is Lloyd Altan. I'm the Bronx Borough Historian, and I am from the Bronx, born, bred, and still live there. The real reason is this. Jonas Bronck was the first European settler. He came there in 1639. The only thing that was named after him was Bronx's River. Now, try writing B-R-O-N-C-K apostrophe S with a quill pen. It's a little difficult, so they abbreviated. They always abbreviated everything when they were writing things with quill pens, so they write it, wrote it B-R-O-N-X, so it became the Bronx River. In 1895, all the areas east of the Bronx River was annexed to New York City and became part of New York City and New York County. But they didn't know what to call it. So they looked at a map and right smack through the middle of this amorphous territory ran the Bronx River, so they named it after the river, the borough of the Bronx. That's why it's always the Bronx and not just plain Bronx.